Hello everyone, welcome back to Super Mario Galaxy. Last time, we unlocked Dome 3. We, we beat Bowser for the first time and unlocked Dome 3. And saw one of the galaxies that we unlocked. One of, one of four. Um, let's talk to Mailtoad here. Dear Mario, blah blah blah, give me the one-ups. Do you like them now? Yes, because there's a galaxy coming up that sucks. Sorry if I'm cleaning my throat a lot. <coughs> okay, so. So, in my off time, I discovered when the thing comes up that I was hinting at before, and it's probably gonna come up this episode. Uh, we have the Hunky Luma. You know, we're gonna wait on it. We're gonna wait on it a little bit. <coughs> yeah, sorry. sorry, my throat's just a bit scratchy today. Uh, let's go do Star 3 and Beach Ball. <coughs> now, hopefully, we'll see if this happens or not. Uh, if the comet comes up for this, we'll move on. If it doesn't, uh, there's a star in here that we, there's another star here that we can immediately get. Another swim class today. Uh, you can, well, yeah, let's show this. Swing on the vine. Well enough, you can get all those starbits. There's another vine or a swing somewhere that lets you get that one up. Yeah, there it is. So let's dive down to the water. I, I love how the music gets subdued in water. Now, if you'll notice, the shells that are literally everywhere. And what that penguin says, uh, you can break open chests with the shells, and, and they'll have things. The one right in front of this wall here has a one-up if you want it. But uh, where we need to go is through this wall. There's a bat in here. Spinning for starbits. Uh, there's a Goomba in that box. Be a, a wee bit careful. Coin. Starbits. Not bad. Small rewards, but rewards. Put some Starbits. Coins. Coin. So it looks like it's only uh, about two per bag. Two bag box. Wow, Jesus. Ow. Yeah, these bats kind of suck to hit. Uh, but if you can, you can get three Starbits. Found the stump and use the launch star. <clears throat> now, I believe this level gets brought back in Galaxy 2. Or no, yes, I'm sure it gets brought back in Galaxy 2, actually. Um well, <clears throat> it, it's a bit different in there than it is here. Shit. Um in here, we just have to get to the end without dying, which is harder than it sounds. Now, this is what I like to do for this. It didn't work. Okay. Great start. Great start. Let's fucking go. It, it thankfully does just put you right back here. Just wait for those to come on back. Spin this time. Get a one up. Get onto this ring here. This guy only goes in one direction, so you can tail behind him safely. You can kind of see our objective up ahead there. If you take the 
disappearing platforms, right? You can get a one-up. Although, these guys move pretty slowly, so that is risky. Just explodes at the star bits. We're once again going to take the disappearing platform route. We actually didn't even make that platform start disappearing. Got a, uh, I believe a Wama. Is those, those ones? I don't know. I can. I never have them, right? You can see Mario's very large hands when he spins. So, spin those crystals twice, they break. I think we've already seen those. I might be wrong. But... <clears throat> yeah, just spin them twice, they break. You get a star. Get some more star bits. Save game. It, it, it's always good practice to save after every star. Um, okay, so the comet did not show up, so let's go get this hidden star. Uh, to get the hidden star, you do have to be on star 3. And funnily enough, the comet also affects star 3. If you remember that iteration, the iteration of that in Galaxy 2, you already know what I'm talking about. Let's grab one for this. So, and, and that's basically the same as as it shows up in Galaxy 2. Slight difference. Um, but since we're not going to that planet, let's touch on said difference. Uh, so, in in Galaxy 1 here. Uh, it's just a star on the planet. You have to get to the end without dying. Spin the crystal twice, you get the star. In Galaxy 2, it's the silver stars mechanic. So, uh, the silver star mechanic we saw in Space Junk Galaxy returns in Galaxy 2, and there's, and they are in that they're on that planet, and you have to get all five and get to the end without dying. For this, bring it to this shell, bring the shell to this chest, break it open, let's go. And, ha ha ha, I dislike this level. So, uh, I think I've said before, um, if you don't know, get about how Galaxy is. There is a 121st star, but it's a little difficult to get, to say the least. You have to beat the game with all 120 stars twice. Anyway, uh, Ice Mario. So water freezes underneath us and we can uh, skate. Now there is uh, stuff up here to fight if you really need it. Yeah, you, you don't need a thing there. So, uh, new enemy, Cataquax. If you've played Mario Sunshine, they'll look very familiar. It's the same enemy from Mario Sunshine. Whoa, 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 whoa. What happened there? Now, you don't have to be Ice Mario to skate, but you have to be Ice Mario to create platforms on water. So. Ah, uh, that was nice. Shit. Uh, this took me, like, like, five minutes, um, in my personal file for practice. So, we might be here a bit. Because the Cataquack likes to just go off the platform and drown. Or it'll catch up to you...
Yeah, Catequacks are very, very dumb. Yeah, th those knock you back, they don't damage you, don't worry about it. I'm gonna wait until after this Cataquack kills itself, because I know it's going to. And drown. Let it spawn. Let it get aggroed on you. Get a bit ahead and just kind of... Get it to that platform, have it bounce you up, and get the star. I can hear the ice breaking in the background after a level ended. Um, that star sucks. Um, I don't know if the Cataquack mechanic shows up anywhere else. I pray it doesn't. It probably does. A new chapter's been added to the storybook. So that's what we saw, was it last episode? And I accidentally skipped it. Skipped past it. Past, blah, blah, blah. Skipped past it. So. There's the comet. We're gonna not do it. That's a fast flow comet. Take a, t If you know Galaxy, you'll know what's there. Now. We're gonna go do this galaxy. Bubble Breeze Galaxy. This level. I, I like the mechanic it introduces. But I do not like this level itself. Through the poison swamp. The poison does not act like lava. If you touch it, you die, period. It's not like lava where you can bounce on it a couple times to do some skips. If you touch the poison, you die. So, uh, don't touch it. Get our ring of star bits here and get a tutorial. Hey, before you ride in bubbles, let yours truly, Philboard, bend your ear for a sec. You can move around your bubble by holding down A, but do, but do it while your pointer is blowing on the bubble. If you go too far to one side, use your pointer to blow on the other side. So, if we get in this bubble here, we get a top-down perspective and our pointer becomes a little blower here. We can blow the bubble around to go to get above all the poison. And uh, there's a lot of mines here. Uh, to start this, uh, there's also some wind currents. You can fight against them, but it's not really needed to. Uh, the fans also can't pop your bubble. There's not much that can pop the bubble. If I think it's just the mines. You can also ground pound out, out of it, so be careful to not do that by accident. Yeah, you, you can fight against the fans. It's not... It, it's a little difficult to do, but it's not too bad. But yeah, don't hit the mines, because that's instant death. Shh. Huh. Get, get to the star, spin, and go. Get a lot of star bits right here. I got some of them. Yeah, you can even see that the coins are sideways here, but when we get into our bubble here, they're upright. Now there's no no star chips this time. It's just it's just blow the bubble around. You can rest against that platform that doesn't do anything, and you can just kind of sit in the bubble as long as you want. It might pop eventually, I don't know. I don't think so. I think you're good to just go, to just sit there. Get a lot of, get a lot of coins. Now that, no, that wall can't pop you. I, I believe there are some instances where it can wedge you you know, a certain spot, and that can kill you. You don't want to just ground pound out of it. Oh, 
open that and go. This is one of very few levels where it's very easy to get one-ups with coins. Although the level in and of itself is not easy. Not, not terribly, anyway. If you know what you're doing, it's not bad. There's a one-up there if you, if you want to go for it. I personally wouldn't recommend it. You can hear the star. This one goes on a square pad. Here we are. You can hit those. It doesn't matter. You're on a safe platform. If you avoid them, you can bubble into the star. Uh, the first time I played this game, it took me well over half an hour to do that level. Get with uh, getting used to the bubble mechanic. It's a very dick level to introduce such a mechanic. But so be it, I guess. No, I won't say we'll, we'll We'll save at the end of the episode. Oh, that comment's gone. That's it for bubble breeze. We can't see this one yet, so let's go to... Ghostly Galaxy. Luigi and the Haunted Mansion. That's right. Luigi somehow getting caught up with ghosts again. I don't know how he keeps doing it. Oh, the, mu the music for this galaxy is so good. Yes. And we actually don't start on the galaxy proper. Detected signs of Luigi in this galaxy. I hope he hasn't been eaten by ghosts. I don't know how ghosts could eat, but sure. Start, start over there. Uh, these guys spin to break the pumpkins, and they're just compass. So, uh, you can also uh, ground pound them to insta kill them for their coin. We've got a spider here. Spin into it and spin it again, I guess. You can just walk into it, get some star bits. We have a, a thing here with a chain jump. Now, th this level has my personal favorite boss of all of Mario Galaxy. So, booze will chase after you when you're looking away from them. Very typical boo behavior. And will hide and go invisible when you're looking at them. Get them in the light. And... They die. Drop the coin, you get a few the one that comes out of the painting, you get the key you need to move on. And a lot of these pumpkin guys. And star chips. Now you sadly can't just, uh, yeah, you know, if you just jump on them, nothing happens. You sadly can't just jump to get, um, to get gravity change. You have to go along. You have to go along the, the things. And... The enemies are a little dickish, and we'll try to be on and block them. Yeah, they also uh, let out fire. These little planets spit up some star bits to grab. And we'll be sure to grab them. You're gonna need them very, very soon. If we go over here, we can see Luigi. I don't think we can talk to him. He just says help. Help, help. Ooh. You have to be a little risky there. You have to get that that key to, to move forward. Now, if you spin, you can 
we move them around. The lights here are already turned on. If we grab this, we get the ghost mu mushroom and transform into Boom Mario. You see a one-up painting. If we grab that, it becomes real. If you touch the lights, you transform back. You can spin to go invisible and go through grates. There's another uh, mushroom right there if you need me. Uh, spin go through here. We're actually, here, let's... Never mind, I guess we're not showing that. Oh, there's, there's a ghost that comes out of that painting. Uh, the ghosts, the boos, will be... will come towards you when you are Boo Mario. So, they, they will kind of chase after you in, in a lot more sense than when they're coming after you as enemies. And we saved Luigi! Hooray! And we're not in that dome, we're outside. And also we discovered the last galaxy. Mom. Welcome back. Look. I can see your brother from here. You ask him, I bet he'll help you search for power stars. <laughs> There's a lot to tell you. You should go speak to him over there by the garage. Do not delay with this. Go talk to Luigi. Seriously. I didn't do that in my last 100% run. And you will regret it. I think you might have missed one in Good at Galaxy. If I find it, I'll write you a letter. Keep your eyes peeled for it. So just simply go talk to him, and that will start off the chain of getting of getting the stars Luigi finds. So let's go back to the dome. What the fuck? All right. Because there's more stars in Ghost of the Galaxy. And uh, now. There, I will say, ugh, I almost fell off. Um, if you are on your second 100% run and you're playing as Luigi, that whole sequence goes down a little bit differently. It is still Luigi in the Haunted Mansion and not Mario or some other character. Like I, uh, it's still Luigi. You save Luigi as Luigi, and Luigi thinks that you are his, like, a twin, effectively. And it still refers to you as a bro, so, it, like, none of the letters that you get from him are changed. Um, whereas Alina refers to him as, as your twin. It, it's a nice touch for, for the second time around, rather than keeping everything the same. So, we're gonna go over here once again. There are some bats this time. Um, the path is gone. Now, it's pull stars. These shoot out star bits. There's star bits on the trees. There's a circle of them over here that I actually didn't see when I did this level earlier. I was doing, I was playing some Luigi. I think it was last night or earlier today. Now you'd think you'd be using the ghost, the Boo Mario upgrade to race him. Ah. Uh -uh. If you look off in the distance, ha ha ha, pulsar time. <laughs> You're gonna want to use the momentum you can get with pulsars very much to your advantage. And it's not that easy, I will say.
grab yourself, because, yeah, you can fuck that up. Go, go on these planets. And walk up here. Bad. I actually did a little bit better than my last time on this. Did about a second faster. Hmm, 102.85, huh? Well, I promise, I'll take this. I actually really like the, the friendly Boo. I believe you do race him again later on in another level. And, and honestly, he's a really cool character. I like him. I just like the idea of friendly boos. I like to think that that's the boo from, like, that you can play in Mario Party. And we get brought back here because we have a letter from Luigi. Bro, I got a star, but now I can't get back. This picture shows where I am. Help me! Hmm, where is that place? It looks familiar, but then again. Let me give you this picture so you won't forget where Luigi is. Did you a picture press? Press minus or plus to access the pause screen, then use the letter icon to check the picture. So. so you can do that if, if you need to. It's right there. But we have no need to check. Luigi already told us where that is. It's in Good Egg Galaxy. Shit. Well, I guess we're doing two more this video because I want to get that Luigi star. Good Egg Galaxy has a speedy comet on it, and we can't ignore it. So, I guess it's our first comet time. Wee, wee. Dino Piranha speed run. <laughs> oh boy. Um, these speed runs typically not hard. It's just as long as you're playing well, you'll do perfectly fine. We have uh, four minutes to beat this level. So we can't fuck around like we did the first time around. We just have to gun it towards Dino Piranha. Ignoring star bits and shit. Uh, when you're in dialogue boxes, the timer does pause. So, so you can use that to kind of give yourself a small break. You remember where all the shards were? Uh, these are now chain chomps, whereas they weren't before. I don't, I don't believe. And you got, got, the, got this. This nice music to kind of tell you that you need to be going pretty fast. We're, we're almost a minute in. We're just going to ignore everything on the underside of the planet. Spin you. During little cutscenes like this, the timer also doesn't go. So, so yeah, these are chain chomps instead of uh, those rocks. We're about a minute and a half in. I believe this is it. Is it boss time? It's boss time. We have two await left. Boss time.
even though this is technically just the Dino Piranha Star, um, it's a comet, so you haven't quote unquote seen the cutscenes yet. So you have to watch them. Not that our Dino Piranha literally took us 13 seconds. Uh, timer keeps going <laughs> after you're done. So be a little careful, but if you're like me and got lots of time, you can just spend some time to get the Starbits on the planet. Because Pooh Boy Starbits are mighty necessary. I believe that's it, so... Let's grab the star and get out of here. So, uh, the Luigi star does not take long at all, so we're, we're going to do it while we're here. Uh, when a Luigi star shows up, make sure to go do it, because if you don't, the other two don't unlock. So, just a forewarning. Let's go back into Good Egg and do the quote-unquote hidden star. While it is a hidden because it's not immediately available, um, it's not really, not really hidden considering it, considering it tells you what to do. And uh, yep, there's Luigi. So if we just one, two, three, and spin, here we are. You came to save me again. I knew I could count on you, bro. What the power star? Yeah, I got it right here. Ta-da! It's as big as us. <laughs> power stars are large, if you really think about it. Yeah. Let me bring that power star back. It'd be cool if Lu oh. oh no, he is in the cutscene. Cool. I am... I don't remember. I really hope that if you're on your Luigi one, your Luigi... <laughs> Luigi run that it's just two Luigi's in the thing for each one of those okay um with that I'm going to cut it off here next time on Super Mario Galaxy we're gonna go finish out ghostly galaxy uh go see what that other one-off galaxy is and go fight the third big bad see you guys then